Today we will show you how to change the firmware of the LN882SOC by Lightning Semiconductor. This will allow us to customize the LN882 devices and pair them with Home Assistant. LN882 can be found in some new Tuya devices. In this case we have a simple mini smart switch. Let's open it. And here is the LN882. You can check its data sheets in our forum. Link is available in the video description. Let's start by desoldering it. Add some flux and remove the old solder with soldering wick. The soldering the module is not necessary, but it's recommended. There are some devices which, for example, might have capacitors on UART pads and it can interfere with flashing. Now add some flex to the pads, thin them with heated solder. You will need to solder 5 wires, 2 for power, 2 for UART and boot signal. Boot signal must be connected to the ground in order to enable the boot loader. The full schematic and flash tools are available in the video description. When soldering, make sure to strip and thin the wires first, keep your soldering iron tip clean and not use excess heat. Heating board too much might cause pads to fall off and then you won't be able to flush the device easily anymore. Connect everything like we have shown on the screen. You will need to have a USB to UART converter and a good 3.3V power supply. Now let's make firmware backup. Use our Python flash damper script to copy original firmware. If needed, change your UART port index. Remember that you need to disconnect and reconnect again device to USB port before each flash operation. Backup procedure may be slow, but it's worth to do it. Then download OpenNL firmware and CMD tool to flash. Command is visible on the screen. Once flashing is done, disconnect device from power, disconnect boot from ground and reconnect the power. OpenLN access point should show up now. Connect to it and configure your Wi-Fi data through the configuration page. Of course, you also need to solder now the module back in place. If you don't know the GPO roles for your device, you can use our GPO doctor tool to check each pin quickly. You can also look for existing templates on our forum. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please visit our forum. You can also check out our IoT device turndowns list and our smart home tutorials section. See you!